Smart management of money is what contributes to one's financial intelligence quotient, more commonly spoken of as the financial IQ. Ngunit, bakit nga ba importante ito? So, this is a major factor at ito ang hatid nito. higher. Hi, this is Joe Fernando and I'm from Raffer Financials. Kamusta po kayo mga ka-RFF? I hope everyone's keeping safe and well. Sa araw po na ito, pag-uusapan natin ng isa sa mga very interesting topics on personal finance and that is about financial IQ. Ang pag-manage ng pera sa tamang pamamaraan ay hindi po madali. Money doesn't come by all that easily. Maliban na lang kung ikaw ay nakakatanggap ng mga di mo inaasahang mana or nanalo ka ng malaking halaga sa loto. Smart management of money is what contributes to one financial intelligence quotient, more commonly spoken of as the financial IQ. With the help of our sources from Basins and Gandhi, alamin muna natin ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng financial IQ. It refers to the ability to make one's money grow by spending wisely, saving, and investing right. Ito ay isang konsepto na ipinakilala sa atin ng very popular at best-selling author na si Mr. Robert Kiyosaki. Financial Financial intelligence is all about using information, one's wisdom, to make the right choices in managing money. Ngunit, bakit nga ba importante ito? Ang pagkakaroon po ng mataas na financial IQ ay makakapagbigay ng mga magagandang benepisyo sa atin. While everyone has some basic idea about their finances at kung paano ito imamanage, hindi po kasi lahat ay successful in ensuring that they are great at not just making money but also saving and multiplying it. At dito po nagiging importante ang financial IQ. So, ano-ano nga ba ang limang mga magagandang habits to improve this? Number one, Focusing on savings. Ang pagsisave is one of the, if not the most excellent habits na mga tao na may mataas na financial IQ. Gaano man po kalaki or gaano rin po kaliit ang kinikita mo, make it a habit to put aside and set aside part of your earnings every month in the form of savings. As a rule of thumb, if you want to build wealth the right way, kailangan nyo pong mag-save ng at least 10 to 20% of your monthly income. Having savings is important at every stage of your life because it also helps you create a fund for your emergencies. And so, number two habit is evaluating your spending and planning for your purchases. Kung pakiramdam mo, hindi mo na natatrack kung saan napupunta ang mga kinikita mong pera, panahon na para evaluate mo ang mga ginagastos mo. Have the habit of making a list of all your expenses. This is the first step towards a great habit and can be done on on a daily, weekly, or even monthly basis. Ito ay makakatulong upang may manage mo ang iyong mga finances ng mas maigi by helping you keep track of the expenses which are important and those which you can also do without. You also have to be able to limit your credit card spending. Ang pagkakaroon po ng credit card is a great habit, ngunit, Kung gusto mo lamang itong mag-build and ma-improve ang credit score mo. Ngunit, pagdating naman po sa pagpapaganda ng inyong mga financial IQs, it is advisable that you limit the number of credit cards you own and that you also use. Kailangan mo ding matutong makaugali nga ang planuhin ang inyong mga pinagbibili. Ang bawat isa po sa atin ay may mga wish list ng gusto nating mga bilhin. Kung saan ang ilan po dito ay mas mahal pa nga po kumpira sa kaya naman talaga nating ma-afford. Ang bago pong kotse, ang mga mga magagandang alahas o ang mga pinakabagong gadgets. While you might want to make these purchases immediately, isa pong malaking sign ang pagkakaroon ng mataas na financial IQ is planning your purchases and making them after saving up enough money. Make it a habit to keep from impulse buying at pag may gusto kang isang bagay na wala pa sa budget mo, pag-ipunan mo muna ito and then buy it without affecting your financial health. Ika practice delayed gratification. And so, number three is 
investing. Ang pag-iipon ng pera ay magandang kaugalian pero kung gusto mong palaguin ito, kailangan mo ring matutong i-invest ito and make it a habit to cultivate. There are so many ways, there are so many numerous options to invest your money such as investing in actively managed funds like mutual funds, unit investment trust funds, direct stocks, real estate, businesses, at marami pa pong iba. Number four is Tracking your net worth. Magandang nalalaman mo kung magkano ang kinikita mo. But it is not enough. Importante din po na malaman mo ang net worth mo as only keeping track of what you earn will not give you a clear picture. Yung income mo ay maaaring hindi makakapagbigay ng totoong net worth mo kasi hindi po nito masasabi kung ikaw ay lubog na sa utang or kung lumalaki ba ang wealth base mo. Gawin mong habit ang pagiging conscious sa pagpapalagay laki ng asset base mo kumpira sa mga utang or liabilities mo. And so, last but not the least is taking loans only when absolutely necessary. Sa panahon po ngayon, ang pagbibili ng mga mamahaling bagay ay pinadali na sa tulong ng mga easy payment terms, schemes, at loans. Tandaan nyo po to consider a loan only when absolutely necessary and when you think that your income can sufficiently handle the burden of monthly installments. Huwag po tayong mabuhay ng umaasa sa utang lamang. In the end, nothing beats pa rin studying. Ang pagbabasa ng mga magagandang libro, panunood ng mga video na patungkol sa pananalapi ng tulad ng dito po sa aming Rampver Financials YouTube channel at ang pag enroll sa mga seminars o kurso na tuturuan ka ng mga konsepto ng tulad sa tamang paghahawak ng pera ay mag bisa pa rin pamamaraan upang may improve mo ang inyong mga financial IQs. This will not just improve your financial intelligence, but can also clarify many commonly faced doubts by people concerning personal finance. And so I hope you've learned something new today. If you think you have friends or relatives who might be interested of these contents, we hope you can share this video with them. And for those who haven't yet po, please do subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Rafer Financials, and tap the bell button for our future video uploads. Again, this has been June Fernando saying thank you so much for watching, for all the support, and we'll see you in our next video. Stay safe and God bless.